I feel really sorry for you. No, Thomas, I feel really sorry. I do. I promise I do. I'm feeling sorrow right now. You have a kid, don't you? You do. I know you do. So, so you don't need to hide it. You have a kid. Yeah, tough. What's its name? Is it Harry? It is Harry. I know it is. You know how I know this? <laughs> it's because once, when we left work, I was walking behind you and you walked all the way down the road and I could see you in front of me. And I saw you with this woman in a coffee shop. It wasn't a nice coffee shop. I was surprised you went too into it. It was a Costa or something not even good one, a shit Costa. I watched you with this woman and she had a little fodden little thing and I waited and I saw you go to the loo and then I ran in and I said, oh, I was hoping to catch you. I pretended I was in a hurry. And I had a little chat with Marion, is it her name, your ex? And she told me about Harry. I said I was a colleague. Oh, you were taking ages in the toilet. Actually, we talked about it. We did you know it, you're up to in there. But it meant we had a good talk about you. And that conversation with her gave me quite a lot of crucial information. Which I've always known when I try to hide things or lie or whatever. I always known about your life. Things that you didn't know, I know. I know you have to pay Mary and this certain amount every month. And when she hears you're out of work, her low estimation of you will drop even further. Mm. It will, I promise. She won't be surprised. That's really a tragic thing for you. She won't be like, oh my God, you lost your job. Oh my God. <laughs> she will be like, yeah, of course he lost his job, fucking retard. Good thing I got out while I could. Better not let Simi hurry too much. Don't want Harry to grow up in this distorted, disabled image of his fucking dream, trip of a father. <laughs> I expect that what you'll think. It's tough, isn't it? Life. 